Okay, I just wanted to preface this video. You see the title, you know what it's about. I think I'm pretty clear throughout the video how I feel, but in case anything I say gets like, you know, misconstrued or um, anything gets twisted, I want to say exactly how I feel right now. I don't support this guy at all. Mostly, I just wanted this to be informative and entertaining, you know, making some jokes, making some goofs about the guy, um, but also being informative because some people might not know about everything that he's done. Um, this is not to like give him attention or to, you know, give him a platform basically. Those are not my intentions with this video. So, um, with that being said, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Whatever. F you. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'll be honest, I almost didn't make this video. I make a lot of videos about weird guys and like alpha males in general. There's a very prominent one right now, you might have heard about him. I assumed it would just be more of what I've already said, so I was just gonna skip it and just move on to something else. But I dug a little deeper and I I don't think I can not talk about it now. So if you've been on TikTok recently, your feeds have probably been invaded by a bald man saying the most insane shit you've ever heard in your life. And that was most likely Andrew Tate, unless Mr. Clean <laughs> has a secret agenda. <laughs> At first, I thought he was in a very similar vein to the uh, Fresh and Fit podcast, where they have the facade of promoting uh, building confidence and healthy lifestyles for men, but it's just straight misogyny. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with being confident in yourself. I think you deserve to be confident. Everyone should be confident in themselves. But the problem is when that confidence, that confidence, there's an issue if the confidence that you have is putting other people down. And in most of these cases, the people being put down are women, men who are nice to women, or men who might not be the most masculine people in the world who they see as women. I don't know if you see where I'm going with this. But... All right, so the schedule for today, hit the gym with the boys, I go shave my head, berate every woman that's rejected me in the last 24 hours, which is a lot because I try to talk to a lot of women. They don't talk to me back. I try to talk to the 16 year old that I can't sleep with yet because that's illegal technically but not when she turns 18. Yeah, and if that last part sounds outlandish and insane, um, he said a couple things like that. <laughs> the reason 18 and 19 year olds are more attractive than 25 year olds is because they've been through less dick. I'll say this right here on the fucking internet. Once you're 18, if you want to get yourself a real man, I know a guy. You do? I do, yeah. <laughs> now, a lot of people were defending that one. Dude, it's so obvious he was talking about someone else. He was not talking about himself, dude. No, it wasn't. It sounded like he was flirting. Why don't we head back to my place? I've got something to show you a good time. This is our first date. I don't really think I'm comfortable with any of that. Oh, no, 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 not like that at all. No, no, I just got Mario Kart, and it's been a lot of fun, but I haven't had anyone to play it with. Oh, oh, you should have started with that. I love Mario Kart. I'd love to come over. <laughs> awesome. That's, that's, this will be so much fun. Yeah, you get your turn after you suck my dick. Tate's fans have a knack for defending him in the worst ways possible. There's somebody that doesn't agree with everything he says, but says that he makes some good points. Common Tate dub, or what color is your uh, bugatti? Uh, everything you'll see in defense of him is one of those three. It kind of reminds me when that Morbius movie came out. And every single person trying to like meme on it would just say it's Morbin time. They thought that gave them a personality. <laughs> Another way that they can learn from him is through his Hustlers University course. First glance, you might assume that this is just a master class of sorts. Where, you know, Andrew and some other people might give insight um, to how they got to where they are today. And how you can apply those same principles into your life. Which could be in there somewhere. A lot of that info and like lifestyle advice can be found a lot of places on the internet for free. That begs the question, what was he actually selling here? Turns out, Hustlers University also has an affiliate program. You do the affiliate program, then you become a promoter, essentially, promoting Andrew Tate and Hustlers University, which I think explains why you see so many videos of him pop up everywhere. All right, guys, so look, here's the thing, okay? All you have to do is sign up, okay? Then you start promoting both uh, Top G Andrew and the university right your friends get their friends to sign up right and then once so many people sign up then you start getting money back for it all right so it's, it's a genius thing not not at all it's not multi-level marketing no this is totally different 
it's not it's different. different. Yeah, it's estimated that Andrew is making millions of dollars monthly off of a pyramid scheme. There's no, uh, not much to theorize about here. It's, it's pretty plain and simple what it is. And you might be thinking, well, Andrew's just, you know, a weirdo like all the other ones. So why single him out? Right. I think if he was just like the rest, I would have just skipped this entirely and found something else to talk about. There's a couple little things I found out while I was digging deeper that I think we need to talk about. So this guy, Andrew Tate, right? See somewhere on wherever he is. He's being investigated by the FBI for human trafficking and sexual assault, which are some huge claims to make about a person. Like you've got to have some very solid evidence to say that, right? So what do you think they'd have against Andrew Tate? For starters, he says shit like this. Is that one of the best things about status is that you can now get what you desire. At status, most men have this dream of sleeping with endless women. I could, if I decided, could sleep with a new woman every single day for the next 10 years. It's not interesting to me. I am more interested in using my status to find something extremely rare, like a woman of innocence. But if you need to hear anything else about him, he got kicked off of the British version of Big Brother because of a video where he was beating a woman with a belt. Oh, and him and his brother run a business where they use cam girls to make money and then keep it for themselves. And they got reports that an American woman was being held at his Romanian home against her will, and then during the FBI raid, they found her. And he also said part of the reason that he moved to Romania is because the authorities there are less likely to pursue uh, sexual assault claims. So really, it's up in the air. I mean, it, it, obviously I'm kidding. I hope you saw the sarcasm. And there's a mindset that a lot of people had that I'll admit I had at first. People will kind of just have like the, well, just ignore him and he'll go away mindset of just like, as long as you don't listen to what he says or you don't like tune in, then it's not going to affect you. At first, I kind of thought the same way because I was just tired of hearing about him. And I thought, well, maybe you just ignore what he's saying and you don't have to worry about it. The more I thought about that, the more I kind of opened myself up to realize that that's kind of an ignorant thing to say. Because even if it's something that you yourself can just turn off and push away, and it doesn't affect you, right? But there are people in the world who are negatively affected by what he says and what this mindset in general says. And promoting this mindset and this lifestyle is a fucking attack on them just by saying that you're above them. You know, I said this earlier, I know, but there's nothing wrong with having some confidence in yourself. If you want to work on yourself, build confidence, go to the gym, eat healthier, you can do all of that. That is, there's nothing wrong with that at all. But when that confidence turns into being self-centered and having this feeling of superiority, like you're better than someone else just because of like their gender or because they don't act the conventional way that you think their gender should be, then you're just a fucking dickhead, just straight up. You know, your confidence should be oh, I love myself, I'm doing great, you know, I'm gonna conquer everything I set my mind to, right? Not, I love myself, I'm doing just fine, all women are sluts. <laughs> I'm not gonna conquer my goals, I'm gonna conquer some bitches. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you don't have to insult and berate somebody because they won't sleep with you, because that's just a lot of insecurities screaming out. It's not really fair to blame the people rejecting you for rejecting you there comes a point where you got to realize you got to do some like you know inner like soul searching so i don't know if you're a fan of his and you're just waiting to talk shit on me because you don't like what i've said about andrew tate and about his lifestyle and the lifestyle he's promoting so if that's you i want to say boo fucking who go cry about it also please go to go fucking therapy for, for the love of god, god. Just, go. just go okay I know I keep making videos about this topic and people like this, and I keep saying I'm not going to do it again for a while, and then I fucking do it again, and I'm sorry. I will find something else to talk about next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure you leave a like on this video. Leave a comment if you have any uh, video ideas for me to do. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, it really means the world to me, and I love it when y'all do. So please do. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time. So peace out guys.